Hello everybody. Uh, today we're going to discuss D major 7. Previously I did a video on just using a simple D major 7 form and then bringing it all the way up the neck. But each one of these is a different chord just using this form. But this time we're going to do and just talk about D major 7 itself in different places on the neck. So as I already told you guys, this is a D major 7 in its simplest form. Okay. Now if you want to add, you could make it a 3 string strum or it could be a 4 string strum and you just have to include the D string. Now if you want to make it a little bit more interesting, you can add fingers uh, 3 and 4 so you maintain this little bar over here then you add finger number 3 or your ring finger on the 4th fret of the D string and you put finger number 4 or your pinky on the 5th fret of the A string and what you have is a nice full D major 7 <laughs> Okay, one more time. Bar these three strings. Take your ring finger, fret number four on the D string, and your pinky on fret number five on the A string, and strum five strings. There you go. Okay, another real nice D major seven is over here on the fifth fret, where your pointer finger is at the fifth fret. This takes the uh, A major 7 shape, except you're putting your pointer finger down. So in other words, A major 7, when you put your pointer finger down, this becomes B flat, A, C, C sharp, D. So we're talking about D major 7, so that's what you got here. So in a simple form, or a four string strum, we got your pointer finger on the 5th fret of the A string. You got your ring finger on the 7th fret of the D string. Your uh, middle finger is on the 6th fret of the G string. And your pinky is on the 7th fret of the uh, B string. And it's a 4 string strum. Okay. Now, if you want to get fancy, you can bar this completely. And the bar will take care of the high A note, which is on the fifth fret of the high E string. So if you bar this and play five strings, it gets a little bit fuller. And it could be argued that you could play all six strings. So it's your choice. You could do a four stringer, five stringer or a six stringer. Okay, here's another one that's not too hard to play. Uh, you could use an open D string. And this is based upon the shape of a D, D minor. But as you bring it up the neck, the name of the chord changes. Your fingers don't change. So if you bring the D minor shape up to, let's call it the 5th fret where your pointer finger is, and pluck these four strings, you have another D major 7. So it's open D, middle finger on the 6th fret of the G string, your ring finger is on the 7th fret of the B string, and your pointer finger is on the 5th fret of the high E string. And it's a 4 string strum. Arguably you could use a 5 string strum. I prefer the 4. Okay, there you have that one. Okay, here's another D major 7 that can be played right here. So, what you're going to do is cover these four strings on the 7th fret, bar four strings. 
and take your ring finger and put it on the ninth fret of the high E string and put your pinky on the 10th fret of the B string and it's a four string strum <laughs> Okay, here's another form of the D major 7. It's played like this. So it's a four string strum. What you want to do is bar these four strings with your pointer finger on the seventh fret. Then you could take either your ring finger or your pinky and put it on the high E string on the ninth fret. Four strings. go. Okay, here's another D7 that's played like this, uh, which really is a takeoff on the F major 7. So what you're doing is you're going to make the F major 7 and you're going to bring it up to the ninth fret where you're Point the finger is on the ninth fret of the high E string. Your middle finger is on the tenth fret of the B string. Your ring finger is on the eleventh fret of the G string. And your pinky is on the twelfth fret of the D string. So you could strum it as a four string strum. Or you could take your pinky off and leave an open D. Okay, here's another D major 7. Up around the 12th fret, middle finger is going to hit two strings. So you got on the 12th fret of the A string and the D string, you got to try to use the, the very tip of your middle finger to cover two strings, then you're going to put your pointer finger on the 11th fret of the G string and your pinky on the 14th fret of the B string. And this is what you should get. Not an easy one, but it, you practice it, you'll get it down. And then we have another D7 that takes place on roughly the 10th fret. When your pointer finger is on the 10th fret of the low E string, your middle finger is on the 10th fret of the B string, your pinky is on the 11th fret of the G string, and your ring finger is on the 11th fret of the D string. And you should mute out the A string. <laughs> I hope that helps you. Take care.